Hi, I'm Dr. Isaac Alexis from the Slim Samurai Group 84, helping you to slash through sickness and offering you a slice of health and wellness. Today's topic, my Slim Samurai family, is nutrition. Here's what they're not telling you about bell peppers. Yes, yellow, orange, red, green, my friends from the pep rally, ha ha ha, little joke, a little humor, but here's what they're not telling you about bell peppers, are all these bell peppers created equal, green, red, orange as well as yellow are all of these alike are these from the same plant or are these from different plants will one bell pepper offer certain advantages over other bell peppers this is what my video will reveal don't forget to click on the subscribe like comment Send this to 25 of your friends. Click on the bell notification under the subscribe so you can get fresh alerts when I create fresh videos just for you, my Slim Samurai family. Comment so I know exactly what you would like me to discuss for future topics as well. Well, we all enjoy bell peppers in our salads, soups, and I sure could tell you that I garnish my Jamaican brown rice with some of these tasty friends of mine's. They are usually within six inches of reach when I'm making anything. Whether it's my brown rice, sirloin tip steaks, Jamaican kuchala, honey encrusted salmon in order to obtain my heme iron sauce, which I discussed in a prior video as well. Well, let's look at bell peppers now from a nutrition standpoint. Standing in at 31 calories each, these heavy hitters of health and wellness are 92% water by composition, protein around one gram, carbs, eh, not too shabby, around six grams, fiber, 2.1 grams, fat, 0 0.3 grams. And in this bad boy, the red bell pepper, it has a powerful antioxidant called Capsanthin, C-A-P-S-A-N-T-H-I-N. You want to repeat? That's right, Capsanthin. Next, in my yellow bell pepper friend here, is an antioxidant by the name of vile laxanthins. All these are carotenoid antioxidants. Good in stabilizing free radicals in the body that can cause heart disease, cancer, eye problems. Now, in my good green bell pepper is lutein, which can improve eye health. And you also have quercetin, quercetin. This polyphenol antioxidant may be beneficial in preventing heart diseases and cancers. Now back to eye health. Bell peppers can protect your retina from oxidative stresses. These foods can cut the risk of macular degeneration. Macular degeneration, you may be asking, what is that, Dr. Alexis? That's when you lose the central vision, the cones, there's rods and cones. You have cones uh, 
affected and you lose the central vision. Peripheral vision may be intact, but your core front on central vision start to decrease. And these foods also can decrease the risk of cataracts. These bell peppers, though containing vitamin C, are not all the same. Now, you have the green uh, bell pepper, you got orange bell pepper, you got yellow, you got red. It's thought that you migrate from the green bell pepper all the way up until the red bell pepper. The red being very sweet to the taste, the green being the unripe and slightly bitter persuasion of the bell pepper family. And it is a yes and no. Some studies have shown that these are two different plant sources, green bell pepper and red bell pepper. In some cases, the green bell pepper, once mature and ripe enough, is going to become the red bell pepper. In other instances, it'll be fully ripe and remain the green bell pepper. Now you may be asking me, Dr. Alexis, tell me more in terms of what I'm dealing with, with vitamin C in the different colors of bell peppers. I'll be more than happy to do that for you. The green bell pepper, you're looking at vitamin C, 134% of the daily recommended allowances. Red bell pepper, you're looking at about 210, 215% vitamin C. Yellow bell pepper can pack a powerful punch as much as 305% of the daily recommended vitamin C. Now, we went over in prior videos the critical importance of vitamin C. For instance, vitamin C helps create and maintain collagen. Collagen, you may be asking Dr. Alexis, why should I care about that? Great, great question. And here's the answer why you should be concerned about collagen and its role in the human body. Now, collagen holds the skin, tendons, and ligaments together. Without it, you would have floppy skin that can reach out some two to three feet. Now, you may be asking Dr. Lexus, what are some of the other benefits of bell peppers? I'm glad you asked. Well, for starters, for additional brain health, I would have you to feast on this baby right here, the red bell pepper, which has been shown to have more folate and potassium than the other traditional bell peppers. You can make it in soups. You can make it part of a Jamaican salmon, kuchala, encrusted salmon salad. You can have it with your sirloin tip. You can have it with a grilled chicken breast salad. Now let's look at red bell pepper with folate. Folate has been known to decrease rate of Alzheimer's disease, cognitive decline. And let's look at the other element as mineral in red bell peppers, namely potassium which can increase blood flow to the brain. Blood flow, increase flow to the brain gives rise to enhanced thinking, enhanced concentration, enhanced thinking abilities. Also, potassium has the capacity to relax blood vessels, allowing more blood and nutrients to flow to vital brain structures strategically. Well, that's the brief on peppers, red, green, yellow, orange. No matter what they color, they're all precious in God's sight. But some may have other 
nutritional benefits that others may not have. So feast on bell pepper, red, green, yellow, orange, you are sure to derive a great health benefit for yourself and your family. As always, it's a pleasure bringing medical knowledge and information to my slim samurais and samurettes. I'm Dr. Isaac Alexis from the Slim Samurai Group 84, helping you to slash through sickness and offering you a slice of health and wellness. God bless.